let's say we have the curve that is defined by the parametric equations x is equal to sine t and y is equal to cosine t. And the question says, determine what type of curve this is. So for example, you can say uh, it's a parabola, um, it's a circle, hyperbola, those are, those are types of curves. Um, so in this case, what we can do is um, either graph it, right? So we can plug in t values and then get x and y values as output. Or we can do some manipulation here to see if we can uh, somehow get this to an expression that we're familiar with. For example, if we're able to get it to y is equal to x squared or x is equal to y squared, we are familiar with these, um, these equations. For example, we know that this is a parabola that opens like that. We know that this is a parabola that um, opens like this, and this one is not a function, right? So let's see if we can manipulate these two so that we can get it to an expression that we're familiar with, because that'll be much easier. Because plugging in t values for uh, uh, sine and cosine functions will be a bit difficult. We need to plug in lots of values and, and uh, we're gonna need a calculator and it might get a bit tedious. So let's see. Um, so one thing we know is, we know that sine squared of anything, so sine squared of, let's just say theta, plus cosine squared of theta is equal to one. So this expression is always true. Now, what we can do is we can manipulate this with this and substitute t. So we can say that sine squared of t, right? Because theta could be t, theta could be anything, right? So sine squared of t plus cosine squared of t is also equal to one. Now, in this case, sine squared of t, we can, we can derive that by squaring both sides of our parametric equation. So x squared is equal to sine squared of t. And same thing here, we can derive cosine squared of t by squaring both sides of this equation. So we know that y squared is equal to cosine squared of t. Now knowing this, let's do some substitution here. Let's plug in the values we know. We know that sine squared of t is equal to x squared, right? So let's just write x squared instead. And then we know that cosine squared of t is equal to y squared. And those are equal to, those. the, the summation of those two is one. So now we have a very familiar expression. Hopefully this is familiar to you. If not, uh, review some uh, uh, finding equation of circles. So we have x squared plus y squared is equal to one. And this should be a familiar expression of, um, of a circle. So x and y are related such that this, uh, the output of this curve will be a circle with radius one.